Page number 19, thirds. When we did the seconds, we do note that are next to each other from C to D, from D to E, from E to F, from F to G. Those are seconds. Thirds is when you play one note, you skip one and you go to the next one. So if I'm on C, I skip to E. I skip this finger. That's a third. If I start on D, I have to skip this finger and go to F. So I go C, skip to E, back to C. D, skip to F, back to D. Do you see the pattern? If you get the pattern, it will be very easy. C, skip to E, go back to C. So that's a third. You go up a third, you go down. Then you start on D. You skip to F, you go back to D. You start on E, where will you go? You will go skip to G, go back to E. And then I put just a G kind of to rest. So you will go G, feel. Now we will do it backwards. From G, you skip down to E, you go back to G. From F, skip down to D, go back to F. From E, scoot down, scoot, skip down to C, skip up to E, and then C. So look at the pattern. And of course, we'll be one time with the right hand, one time with the left hand. So I start on C. I don't do D. I skip it to E and I go back to C. So this is my third. Then I start on D. I do the same pattern. See, this one is the third. Then I start on E. I skip to G. E. Skipping to G is hard. Please don't do this. And then I just do a G to rest. Then I do it backwards. Then I start on F. Then I start on E. And then I just have a C. So do you see the pattern? Once you found the pattern, it's really easy. And it's a really good idea to even practice them, all those thirds by themselves. Like a lot of times this one. Then I'll do this one many times. And this one many times. That's a really good exercise for my fingers. Now I'll do it with my left hand. I'll just practice them many times. Ooh, those are difficult. These two are difficult. Now these ones. Now these ones. Now I'll do it just the way it's written. So I go C. exercise the more you do seconds and thirds the best for your hands